Hey guys, this is Daniel. Um, I've been meaning to make this video for a minute, but uh, didn't get around to it for some reason. But so, Ranger bands. I don't know. A lot of you guys probably already know about these, but you can see on the the cover of the bag here some applications. You, know, you can put money, in, you know, whatever. Altoids make a little survival kit, and they actually burn uh, really slow, so you can actually use them to start fires with. Uh, banding shells together, banding magazines together, whatever. So the Ranger bands, which I've used, I've used these things for literally years. Um, they come in three sizes. When you buy a bag, you get all three sizes in the bag. And what that amounts to is this is the large, this is the medium. And let me grab another small because it's disappeared. Okay, so the, uh, the large, the medium, and then that's the small. The small is really tiny, but the small is actually very useful. This, uh, the medium is probably the most useful. Um, you see in some of my videos, you'll see I'll put them around grips of stuff. I don't do it on the burner a lot because it's got good grippy stuff anyway. But it's just one option. Um, actually, on the HDRs, I quite often uh, do actually run it on those uh, around the group. Um, on the Mercy Less Lethal uh, 12 gram adapter, uh, they fit on there. I don't know, you know, really what the benefit is, except for it, you know, rubberizes it, makes it kind of, you know, it protects it. Uh, might keep the CO2 warmer for a little longer in the winter time, whatever. Um, uh, you know, looks kind of cool. Uh, these things, like you're going to find them that are little slightly variations in size. So if I put this one on there, it would probably fit it a little bit better. Actually, I know that, um, a lot of times you can find them that fit this adapter exactly perfectly because typically I have one on there or well, about 50, 50, I have one on there, but, um, pretty easy to find one that fits it like exactly perfectly and looks really cool. So uh, another thing, six of them will actually cover the tuning barrel from Home Defense 24 for the HDR, uh, AKA uh, TR50. Uh, so it basically exactly perfectly covers it. Don't have to cut them or anything. Six of them rubberize, you know, rubberizes it. Probably cuts down on some, uh, you know, like maybe some noise. I'm not sure, maybe not, but uh, definitely going to cut down on a little vibration and stuff. Um, but, you know, like I say, probably not a whole lot of benefit other than it's uh, protecting the metal and looks kind of cool. But uh, I kind of dig it. Uh, I usually have a couple on my Halo um, just to give a little extra grip without you know, having to stick something on there. I know there's a lot of other options. I know you guys are probably going to comment and say, oh, well, there's a... Uh, I'm trying to think of some of them talon grips and you know all this different stuff which there are and I usually that stuff on other things but I also use these on a lot of stuff um, one of the really cool things that I found was uh, for the um, FSC's to actually keep like it for your spare mag to keep the CO2 in there a little better because this thing you know you can put it like a little snug to hold it but it'll, it'll get loose really easy and they'll fall out if you don't have them in something or whatever so i really really dig them for that uh let's see here uh what else can we say uh banding like uh batteries together uh banding some couple co2 tanks together um basically putting it on stuff to try to cut down vibrations on different parts. Uh, you know, there's just a lot of applications for them. So anyway, I just wanted to, you know, throw them out there. Uh, oh yeah. One of the big, one of the big, big, big things. The reason I actually started using them years ago, um, like the, uh, pressure, uh, switches for lights, like the tactical pressure switches that you put on like a foregrip or whatever. These are awesome. Take two of them and, and put them on the, uh, pressure switch and then you know easy to remove but holds it actually a lot of times better than trying to stick it on with velcro like a lot of people do uh, i know also that there's a lot of really cool options and i actually have some higher end high dollar options um for uh the light pads but throwing something say on a you know a air gun or something uh definitely boom you know there you go so anyway um 
Hope you guys, uh, you know, learned something or found something that'll be useful. Thanks for watching. Bye. Hey, yeah, uh, so I completely forgot to mention these, even though they were sitting there the whole time. Um, <clears throat> these are Skog Bands. Uh, I got these because you can get all of just the medium, um, which, like I say, is the most useful size. I figured they were pretty comparable to the Ranger Bands. And um, they're... They they are comparable, but but they are um, a little bit different in size. Like this this is a medium Ranger band, and this is the Skog band. Um, and but actually, these um, a, a lot of times these are too big on the uh, vertical grip. Uh, and then the small size of the Ranger band is really, you know, they're really tiny. Uh, so actually I can see the, these are kind of in the middle. Um, I could see these being actually very useful too. And right, uh, let's see here. There you guys go with that website. Yay, I don't have to link stuff or anything. Nice. So, uh, but now just, you know, quality wise, you can definitely tell a difference, but I don't know, you know, which one's going to be better or worse. Um, the Skog band is like, has a smoother, smoother rubber. Um, they're both pretty, pretty doggone, uh, pretty doggone tough. So anyway, all right, bye again.